What is going on guys? Uh, welcome back to the next video on learning uh, Laravel. My name is Curious Dan and you guys are watching my channel Coraiwood. Alright, so in the previous video we have learned the uh, HTTP verbs of uh, in the route. Uh, so as I we said that uh, you can get just, uh, you don't have just a get. We can have a post, we can get a put, we can get a patch and we're gonna use the delete. In the future videos we're gonna use the options and finally even you wanna, for example, have a uh, two requests we can uh, such as uh, get and post we can put a match and uh, and we have learned that this is going to be for the root say uh, now we're going to see that the parameter is inside the route say for example we can uh, we can have a, a register and uh, we can have a, for example login and uh, if we change this ones here, say uh, for example, we're gonna say this is login page, and uh, we put a two exclamation mark, and we say this is registration page. So this is our root, and uh, but this is not the root. This is our uh, register and this is our um, login so if you're gonna come here and put it for example register register we're gonna say that the, this is a register page or if you're gonna come here and search for example login we're gonna end up in the login page because this is our uh, URI that's what happened in PHP MVC when you put your route and that's what it's gonna put a it's gonna redirect this one here and uh, that's uh, and we're gonna discuss about the redirect in the future videos, and uh, how the PHP when the user comes in and log in, and if it's successful, then uh, it's gonna redirect to the login page or to the home page. All right. So if you guys wondering why we have a, a return here, why we don't have a for example, uh, if we copy this one for example echo. So instead of return. Because uh, with the function in uh, PHP, we can uh, do equal most of the time. So we rarely use return, especially with the functions. But uh, we with the Laravel, we can you can do equal as well. But the problem is that um, because Laravel has uh, something called uh, middleware, where the middleware is sits between the view, which the user sees that, for example, login and uh, register and controller it controls and the controller also controls the model so the middleware is very very important and one of them is uh, to keep your uh, website and keep keep your customers safe from the bad guys so for example here is when you do log in it the uh, middleware comes in when the user uh, comes in your site and try to log in then the view uh, sends uh, the request to the controller and the middleware here filters this one. Middleware is like a security in the middle, it comes in and checks every request that goes towards the controller for processing. So to get the path, the user should be redirected when they are not authenticated. Okay, so when the user comes in and uh, for example, Mr. Joe Blow, and Joe Blow's uh, uh, not registered in your site and try to log in, would you uh, would you think that the uh, authenticate will let the, this user in if they are not authenticated no they're not going to let in it regardless of what the user does say for example if your joe biden is a registered user inside your site for example your twitter and uh, donald trump try to come in and pretend to be joe, joe biden and try to get inside your site and then the authenticate gonna jump in the middle because that's a security checks every request goes inside the uh, if you, you look in here, all the request goes uh, inside your site is going to block it. It says no, I'm not going to let you in because you're not authenticated. So this is the this is the reason we use here. We use the return. We don't you put an echo. So if you have experience with PHP, you're always wondering that why we don't you put an echo here instead of uh, we just put a return. Say this middleware is uh, as I said, this is for security. And if you look in here, it's encrypt. 
it encrypts all the cookies and the cookies here some uh, if you are not sure about the cookies you guys go and watch our uh, uh, learning PHP the basic PHP and we explain all the cookies how we're gonna make cookies and how we're gonna assign the time and how what the, what the functions of the cookies so it encrypts all your cookies so the bad guys the hackers can read your cookies when you do encryption it's gonna like weird numbers it's uh, like uh, these numbers when you need encryption it's going to be looking like this so no one can read because it's uh, going to be very very secure the only the only the website the only ones to understand this co this encryption is the the one who created it it means your application which is laravel so you can uh, see here prevent uh, uh, request during maintenance when you as we have shown you all in the previous videos about the maintenance when you put it on maintenance then means that it's going to prevent all the requests anyone try to come in try to register your site or try to uh, log in then the laravel is not going to let them in so this is very good for the security as well and verify csrf token csrf is a uh, cross-site uh, request forgery so what's a cross-site request forgery for example if you guys bring your session if you guys put a session and uh, sessions for example login when the user gonna come in register for example they uh, create uh, something called a session session for the user and uh, this session applies if you go a user goes for example if you have e-commerce uh, user goes and select one item or two item and the session remembers this say uh, then uh, you guys uh, you're gonna put inside your e-commerce that uh, you have uh, uh, selected one uh, product and the product goes to sits inside the cart the second one the user goes and select the car for example dress the, the, that one goes there then the third one the user selects uh, for example microwave so how laravel remembers that the user have uh, used the uh, selected three for example product the yeah, laravel remembers through the uh, session so this session uh, remembers whatever the users interact with your website and finally when it goes and uh, calculate say for example the product one is uh, 100 dollar uh, product two is for example the two hundred dollar product three is for example uh, for example is four hundred dollar and now uh, you guys through the session because session remembers this one is three hundred and seven hundred all right so when you put a seven hundred here and uh, inside the card then the uh, you guys gonna connect the payment method that uh, you guys gonna detect this one from the uh, users uh, for example card so you're gonna tell the PayPal or MasterCard look uh, I have this the user purchased this 700 and you got you need to detect this 700 from the user PayPal or uh, MasterCard don't care how the user select what the user selected all they care is this amount of money because your website is connected to the PayPal and the PayPal is connected to your uh, whatever uh, you tell the PayPal to deduct. So when you, you uh, connect your MasterCard to your website, and the user comes and uh, shops, uh, for example, 700, the MasterCard don't care how the user selected this one, what the product, whatever. So all the MasterCard cares is look, this is 700. I'm going to deduct from the users, uh, for example, bank account, and I'm put a, put it in your bank account. That's what the MasterCard is going to do, and uh, the rest. All of this the sessions gonna remember the sessions gonna remember all the payments the sessions gonna remember gonna all do everything so so you guys need to put inside the website as well because uh, the sessions history and then the because there is the money involved and guess what happens the hackers gonna come in and they're gonna put it down for example they're gonna take and the, the one of the dangerous ones is the CSRF uh, attack which is called this cross-site uh, request forgery because every time the, the customer request something they're gonna forge it they're gonna make a copy of it so it when when for example user uh, kind of come in and um, they're gonna be say if the user selected three they're gonna come in uh, the, with this uh, CSRF cross-site request forgery and every time the user uh, select this one our user try to do the payment they can see that so they're gonna deduct uh, they're gonna deduct all the money 
and put it in their accounts and uh, what happens at the end uh, you're going to find out that the users uh, you haven't received the money and uh, all everything is went to the hacker's account so this is called uh, quest forgery because they're going to forge whatever here but if you are here authenticated whatever you have uh, here verify crf token then um, uh, the user is going to come and exploit this so this is very dangerous for your website especially if your website dealing with money and especially if you are making for a company then the laravel comes in and uh, put a csrf token it means that whenever the user is going to come here and create a session the, U the laravel is going to create a token and this csrf going to um, uh, read this token when it says okay whatever if this this is the uh, the integrity of this website is secure say for example if the uh, have a session so user session have a token and uh, token then uh, csrf is going to come and verify this token if this token is okay then the csrf is going to say okay it means this website is secure and it's the user can do anything in you on the side so this is save going to save your website and going to save a lot of headache for the for you as a developer and for the customer which is gonna use your sites to buy stuff so the csrf token is very very important and laravel very very security conscious and have a strong security to come and have all these methods inside the laravel and you as a developer needs to use uh, take a full advantage of this uh, csrf token so that's what we don't um, that's what we don't uh, put an echo here we have to put a return so for for uh, us because that return this return goes to view and this view say for example this is a uri and if you put your controller you can put your controller here instead of function and this one's going to render the view this one's middleware is going to sit between the your view say for example uh, your view here and your controller which is here so this middleware is here for security you guys don't put here echo or anything you always put a return here all right so the next uh, one we want to talk about the uh, parameters how about if you have a uh, for example register and uh, you have a uh, multiple parameters say for example the login and uh, you say which user was that you can put a multiple uh, parameter here and uh, for example the login id and you can put a user id user id and on the function we can put a user id as well and this is our uh, parameter user id and now you hear the return and uh, put a you can uh, return the user id the user id number is and uh, you can uh, put a user id say you put a user id you can uh, display the user id here when the user purchases something when the user uh, say for example goes and select the product when the user try to log in and you're going to create the user id that the registration when the user register you're going to create the user id so when the user comes and uh, try to update his or her password or something you need a user id so when user selects our uh, uh, buy tries to buy product then you need a user id or product id this is very very important and you can get it through this uh, route so the route is not just um, gonna uh, work for your any, anything but the, your route is gonna also work for uh, the user ids and um, other stuff say the user id is 20 and uh, you're gonna see that here the user id number is uh, 20 because and you can create the user id uh, like this in uh, future videos then you're going to go on this uh, user ideas as well and we're going to discuss it uh, thoroughly how how the user id is done so how about if the user gonna come and uh, say for example you can users wanna put a, you can put a name as well you can put anything you guys like this is a uri you can put a lot of stuff here say uh, now you're gonna create the user name for example user name and uh, make sure you can uh, put a username here user uh, name as uh, the laravel here you can uh, register the web routes for your application and here now create something great 
it means this this is your playground this is where you guys should do you guys uh, for example don't go anywhere else and don't try to go in the Laravel core and uh, try to do say for example class route don't do that and uh, you guys gonna stay here and uh, for example you guys uh, can make your route for your controller and uh, if you're gonna come here the user ID is this and we can put as ID and user uh, name is and uh, you can put a username and that's what we're gonna do if you want to put a for example h1 you can put a h1 for example and uh, you can put a h1 if I want to make it look uh, beautiful you can put a h1 and uh, you can put a h1 and uh, take here and don't forget to put a semicolon here so now we have a user ID and a username it's getting a little bit complicated and the function you guys need to put a user ID and username and uh, we're gonna come here and say for example the user ID is Yazdani username is Yazdani you can put your own name and then we're gonna come here and the user ID number is 20 and the username is Yazdani how cool is this you can put a space here put a space if you want and um, so if you're now looking initially we started with uh, just one now we have a uh, two and now we have a uh, three URI here this is uh, called uh, uniform uh, resource identifier while the URL is use uniform resource locator because that one's locate this is identifies uh, which is identifies identifies what who identify identify the user for example us and uh, because in our case because uh, we are going to go into login and our id is 20 and our name is yazdani for example so what about if you wanna for example uh, don't want this yazdani you can uh, create this we can uh, put a uh, for example if you want to create it optional we can create a put a just a question mark here and uh, you can put a username and uh, your username is going to be for example you can put a null now uh, your username is going to be yes Danny. it's optional it's up to you say for example if i gonna come here and uh, if you don't want a username that's fine it's going to be optional but before that was uh, if you don't put in, in if you don't put this one here then you're going to get an error because we can't just put a username there and don't put a username say now say uh, now you gotta get error but you have to put if you put a yes Danny for example then you can get away with it say now it's working because the URI wants you guys to put something at least something here and uh, in order for us to get away with it you can uh, put a uh, question mark here and uh, you can put a username to for example say null you can do this and uh, now if you're gonna come and check if you remove this we are uh, good to go and uh, same as uh, we can do a, this one as a default as well uh, all you guys need to do here for example I'm gonna put yes Danny and that's a default now I uh, put a default here and every time even if I don't put it here uh, the yes done is gonna come here because that now if in if this one's even not even showing here I don't even need to put yes done here because that's my default now so here if you guys gonna put a Corio you can uh, put your Corio here for example if you put a Corio would you can put your own name your mate's name your friend's name so you can put a Corio word so the user is gonna be Corio word so this is the default if you guys want to use the route as a default parameter here so that's how the route works and keep in mind we can uh, use a regular expression as well and uh, that's going to be the, our uh, discussion for the future videos because uh, too much for just one video you guys need to get the 
uh, hang of it uh, slowly a bit of uh, time so it's gonna take a while for you guys to get used to it but I'll promise that in this series you guys are gonna get uh, very very expert at the end of this uh, series all right guys uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe Cryowood if you guys have any question or comment leave in the comment box otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video and bye